Ladies and gentlemen, there's a new Johnny on Late Night. Dak TV presents Go to Bed with Johnny. And here he is, that beautiful piece of man. That is Johnny Thomas Appleseed. Yes! Hello, everybody! Welcome back to another episode of Go to Bed with Johnny. Yes! Oh my gosh, this is the show where you're gonna get all your news, then you're gonna go to bed, and uh, you know, you're gonna be, you're gonna be sleeping like a rock. You know, not Dwayne the Rock, because I guarantee you're not half as jacked as him. You're probably just a very sad individual who's not jacked at all. Just, I mean, I'm jacked, so I was gonna say just like me, but you're nothing like me, actually. Um. <laughs> But that's not the news, which that's what we're here for is the news. So we're not going to open that. We're not going to unpack it. You can talk to your therapist later. Okay. So we've got so much news today. <laughs> so much. It's just a lot. We're going to unpack all of that instead of your personal problems. So we're going to start with our first segment of today's show, which is none other than broken news. Bit everywhere doing that opening. Uh, anywho, uh, the news is not the only thing getting broken today. Uh, actually, there is a record that was broken, uh, and not in a positive way. Like Guinness Book of World Records is not coming to someone's door to knock, 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 and say hello, you won. No, uh, this is this is someone whose winning streak has ended. That record was broken. Yeah, the, 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 the record that they had of the, their wins was broken. And we're talking about none other than controversial YouTuber and Disney Channel star Jake Paul. Yes, who is also a boxer. Yeah, you know, I put it in quotes. He, he's won more fights than I have, but I've also never been asked to be in the ring. So, um, you know, it's not a contest. But Jake Paul, if you want to fight, I'll do it. I'll knock you out, KO, first round, come at me, bro. Yeah, it's every day, bro, more like night-night, bro. No, Jake Paul had his big fight with uh, Tommy Fury, and uh, Jake Paul lost in a split decision. So his winning streak is, is over. It's done, you know. That fever dream has ended. Must have had a hot sweat in the middle of the night and that fever went away because it's done. It's it's over, you know. I'm sure he's very upset about it. He'll come out with something saying it was rigged. Everyone's against me. I'm the victim. It's a Paul brother thing to do, truly. Oh my gosh, get this. We got a law that we're talking about today. Um, so in Florida, you know Florida? Florida is where, like, the crazy people live, but also all of the middle-aged humans who want to go to a Wama place and get away. Uh, no, Florida is also the place where, you know, uh, you read all of the, the stories, the headlines that are like, you know, crackhead stole $100 from the cash register at a Waffle House, and it's big news. Um, we love Florida. They got Disney World. I, I'm not judging Florida, okay? <laughs> Everywhere's got a few crackheads, am I right? Uh, in Florida, they're passing a law or working on a law where dogs can no longer hang the head out the window. What is this? You know, free country? I doubt it. If your dog can't hang his head out the window, what's he, what's he supposed to do, huh? That's like one of the, the four main things that dogs do. You know, it's chew on bones, take naps all day, play fetch, and hang the head out the window. Those are the four dog stereotypes. And you take one of those away, that's just a three-trick dog and probably pretty sad dog. Yeah, you know? And no one likes a sad puppy. I mean, they just they do the pouty eyes like this. Yeah, right here. This is it. Very sad. Very hard to look at. Just let the dog hang his head out the window, okay? We don't need these. 
let them hang the heads out the window as far as they want to. Just don't let them jump out. That's very dangerous. Very dangerous. But yeah, if that law passes, I'm moving. I'm moving somewhere. I don't even live in Florida, but I'd still move. I, I would. I would move instantly if Florida passes that. I don't know where. I'd just, I'd go anywhere. Just, just, just to, uh, you know, make a stand in a statement against the Florida government. Yeah. Also in the news, we got the king, you know. Uh, I've, I've talked about the queen before, uh, rest in peace. And people, people don't like when you talk about the queen, but I don't like the king, um, personally, no. Charles, is that his name? Ugh, I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you're a big fan of the king, you know, I prefer the King of Rock or the King of Pop, Michael or Elvis. Uh, king Charles, canceled. Oh my gosh, I thought the button didn't work. I thought the, the British monarchy was coming in here and, you know, doing something to my show, trying to, trying to just take over here. Uh, the king, I'm not the only one, apparently, that doesn't like the king. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I, I think there's a lot of people that probably don't like the king. Uh, Prince Harry, I, I don't know if he even likes the king. I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. Drama, am I right? <laughs> you love it. Don't, don't judge me for saying what you're thinking, okay? <laughs> Uh, anyways, apparently the king can't get anyone to perform at his coronation. All of the UK artists that he's asked have either had schedule conflicts or just said no. <laughs> Sorry. No. Yeah, uh, artists include Harry Styles that said no. Uh, Adele. Adele said hello from the other side. Yeah. Uh, you must have called a thousand times, and I'm still not answering, so don't, because, uh, she's not gonna tell you who she's sorry for everything that she's done. Yeah, I don't know how that song goes, actually. <laughs> Adele, Harry Styles, and more have, uh, Elton John, you know, <laughs> you know, Elton? Yeah, apparently, mm-mm, nope, not gonna perform. Which people are like, oh, Elton's on his, his final world tour, and he's doing things, he's busy, uh, so he can't make it. Everyone's got a scheduling conflict. Adele just said, no, I'm not taking extra things right now. Bye. <laughs> but don't worry, they all said no, but Lionel Richie said yes. <laughs> yeah, so they'll be dancing on the ceiling anyways, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Also in the news, Selena Gomez. We've talked about her a couple of times, how she was being bullied by her ex-boyfriend's wife and her friends, the Jenners. Uh, yeah, so uh, Selena left social media. She's taking a little break because she's too old for this drama you guys are spinning. You guys, not me. I just talk about it after you've already spun it, okay? It's not my fault. Uh, but Selena said she's too old for this. Uh, you know, after uh, Haley and Kendall and all of them were, like, being mean girls on the social media. You know, you have a, you have a public platform. You also got the guy. Why are, why are we going after Selena? You know, she's minding her own business. She's not doing anything to harm you guys. And you're just making a big deal. And then the social media runs with it and start spewing its stuff and selena says i don't want any part of this just leave me out of it so i got one thing to say if you're going after my girl selena i don't even have to say it you already know you already know what i'm gonna say it's canceled <laughs> i i just can't even stand you right now i don't even know who you think you are you're not cool because you married Justin Bieber and your father is a Baldwin, okay? You, that doesn't, you nepo baby, don't even get me started. I'll go after you quicker than, quicker than 
I don't even know. I don't even know. Quicker than a cheetah. Cheetah in the desert. And I don't like cheetahs, so don't make me be that. Okay? <laughs> All right, well, that's all the broken news I got for you guys. So let's move on to our favorite segment. <laughs> Which is, of course, ass. I just love it, you know, ads stands for something. We're not actually talking about like butts, you know, or donkeys, you know, we're not talking about donkeys. We're talking about award shows. That's why this is the award show segment. Yes. So the SAG Awards happened, Screen Actors Guild Awards. Yeah, that's what that stands for. Not like you saggy. You're old, you're saggy, you know, things start hanging lower than they were once before. Yeah, no, we're talking about the Screen Actors Guild. <laughs> which includes young people and old. So it wouldn't make sense to call it SAG uh, for the young people. Unless, well, I don't know. Uh, apparently everyone's getting work done these days. So maybe things aren't saggy for anyone anymore there at that, that show. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna talk about all of these actors and famous people that were at the awards show. We're gonna talk about some winners, some losers, some people who cried. You know, our favorite things. Yeah, they really are. They're my favorite thing. I love seeing people win and I love watching people cry. Uh, I don't know why. I'm not a sick individual, personally. But... If they're rich and they're crying, there's just something funny about it, you know? It's a real, it's a real uh, full circle moment to watch rich people cry. Yeah. <laughs> Up first, we're going to talk about a Lifetime Achievement Award, which went to none other than Sally Field. Oh, and she deserved it. She deserved it. She was in that movie, Forrest Gump. That follows a character that reminds me a lot of myself. He's very good at everything without trying. And he's also just a little bit dumb, which I don't relate to, but um, the rest of it I do. <laughs> Sally's been in so many movies and shows and different screen uh, performances that she deserves this. She really does. She's getting older, and I'm just glad that we're recognizing her and... Uh, you know, giving her, giving her that. She deserves it. But Andrew Garfield, who played Spider-Man once, he was also in Hacksaw Ridge. He was in The Social Network. He's been in lots of things. Uh, he was recently in Tick, Tick, Boom. None of you saw that. I don't know why I'm even mentioning it. Uh, anyways, Andrew uh, presented Sally Field with this SAG Award. And, uh, you know, it was emotional. Um, she talked about... Her, uh, her role as Gidget. You know, she talked about the first time she put that little paper card in her wallet and stuff. And, uh, you know, she was, just, she was just thrilled to call herself an actor and, you know, live her dream out. And she was never looking for the attention or the applause. But she said it was nice, which, you know, I'm never looking for anything. But anytime someone applauds me... I'm like, yeah, that's right. Thank you. I deserve that. I briefly talked about Nepo babies and nepotism earlier in the, the last segment. And now we're talking about another actress who uh, won an award at the SAG Awards. Uh, and this is none other than Jamie Lee Curtis who, if she was on this show, she'd find some way to roast me and make me feel bad about myself. And I think I would just have to let her because it's Jamie Lee Curtis and no one crosses her. And she runs with that, you know? That's her, that's her shtick. Yeah. <laughs> but anywho, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis won an award. And in her speech, she talked about how her mother was an actress, her father was an actor, and she married an actor. 
and she loves actors and she understands that people say nepotism this nepotism that but she is she is however old and she won that award and I really thought it was gonna go somewhere else and it just didn't she just said yeah I'm a nepotism baby and I won this award yeah I don't know I never liked a nepotism baby I'm not gonna lie to you yeah you know everybody wants to act like they came from nothing but half of them came from something and that is the sex of two famous other individuals <laughs> also at the SAG Awards. We've got lots of winners. We're going to run down the list. We're going to break it down a little bit. We're not going to talk about everyone because there's just too many and I don't care about half of them. So let's start with uh, none other than the Stunt Ensemble in a Motion Picture Award, which went to Top Gun Maverick. You know, if I was a, a pilot and I flew those fighter jets, I would be a Maverick. You know, it's not only my my skills in, in the cockpit. I guarantee I'd be very skilled. But it would also be my charming good looks. Uh, my ability to barely age and not get super saggy. Which, now after the movie's been out, Tom does look a little saggy. A little bit. Which, we've all been waiting for it to happen. Okay? Apparently Scientology doesn't keep it all tight everywhere forever <laughs> also uh in the winnings we got cast in a motion picture uh which went to the cast of everything everywhere all at once which i have no idea what this movie is about <laughs> i have no idea what this movie is about okay never seen it i think i've seen one trailer I don't know what they're doing in there. It looked very confusing. And one thing about me is I don't like being confused. Okay, if I can't understand it from your trailer, I don't want to sit through the whole thing. Okay, and maybe that's very small-minded of me. But I'm very open-minded in many other ways. Yeah. <laughs> Also in the winnings, we've got uh, Ensemble in a Drama Series, which went to none other than The White Lotus. And we got to talk about this a little bit because Aubrey Plaza looked pissed. Oh, sorry. She looked very angry. <laughs> the White Lotus won that award for the ensemble, and Aubrey Plaza did not look impressed when uh, the gentleman, I can't remember his name, he's a very, very famous actor from the olden days. He's a little saggy, not gonna lie. Uh, but he was speaking and he said something and then Aubrey in the background looked very angry, like, what are you saying? And then, and then she said, she lifted, she said, I don't know if you could read my lips there. Here, one more thing. I don't like using the Lord's name in vain, personally. Oh, my God. Oh. What was she saying that for? And then she ran off stage. She, she was the first one gone. Yeah. No, but her and Jenna Ortega also gave away an award at the show. And those two need to be in something together. Because... I loved it. I loved the energy. There was none. That's the comedy in it. Low energy, dry humor. Sell it. Instant. Not a bad cancellation there. That was like, yes, sold me buying it. <laughs> Male actor in a leading role. And that award went to none other than Brendan Fraser. Oh my gosh, we've talked about him before. And he made the biggest Hollywood comeback ever, is I think what people are calling it. You know, he was nowhere. His wife took all of his money, ran away, got a divorce, lived her life freely and made him super sad. Uh, and everyone forgot about him and he came back and he said, you know what, I'm not finished yet, Hollywood. You're going to give me that spotlight like I deserve it. And he took that. 
and he ran with it, and he won. And I am so proud of him. Brendan deserved that award, and he beat out a uh, Austin Butler, who played Elvis, the, the, the king of rock and roll. Yeah. Brendan Fraser said, you know what, Elvis? You've been dead for a long time. I'm still alive. Austin, stop talking like you're Elvis. You're not. <laughs> Uh, another award that was given out was uh, for female in a comedy series, and that award went to none other than, oh my god, you look like the 4th of July, Jennifer Coolidge, I love her, we would be the bestest of friends, and she, I have not sent her a DM, maybe I'll slide in the DMs this evening, honestly. Uh, because I just want to be, I want to be her friend. I want her to hang out with me. So leave a comment tagging Jennifer. Jennifer won, uh, this award for the female in a comedy series. And her acceptance speech was very emotional. She cried like twice. And I hate seeing someone who I love because they make me laugh cry. I, I hate that. That tears me to shreds because she's probably got so many deeper feelings than she lets off. Just like Robin Williams, you know, R.I.P. Jennifer is crying up there on the stage and, you know, it just broke my heart. But I'm so glad that she won. She told a very heartfelt story about her father taking her out of school to go and see this, this film festival. And it was a Charlie Chapman film festival. And it was just so funny because she's like, you know, well, that's what gave me, gave me my, my passion for this, this art. And uh, it's just funny to see a Jennifer Coolidge sitting in a Charlie Chapman film festival. Can you just imagine? You know, like, the the film's happening, and she's just like, Oh my god. <laughs> We're very happy for Jennifer, and so glad that she won. Uh, but we've got some other news about Jennifer Coolidge. She also is getting uh, some recognition at Mardi Gras, where everybody is dressing up as her character from The White Lotus. Yeah, people love her, and they should. They should love her. You know why? She's, she's not that problematic, actually. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's all the ass we're going to talk about tonight. Uh, we talked about a lot of ass. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but that's all the news that I had for you. But of course, I can't let you go without finding out what's in my drawers. This is always scary for me, but also very exciting. Oh my gosh. I thought I got rid of this. Guys. I got crabs. Just one singular crab, actually. Most of Hollywood has crabs or has had crabs um, either as pets or as an it itchy sexually transmitted disease. Um, personally, I just have this crab, which I haven't seen in a long time. Uh, probably, probably since my ex-lover Meldehyde. <laughs> yeah. I always had crabs when the Meldehyde was around. It says a lot, really. Hmm. Aubrey Plaza tonight was a little crabby. <laughs> yeah, no. If you're ever crabby, uh, I'm sure they make a cream for it. Uh, oh my gosh. When you move it like that, it looks like it moves. And I don't like that. I don't... Get it out of here. Just sit over there, okay, you crabby little crab. Uh, sit here by, by little, by little troll Johnny, okay? You sit there. Yeah, look at that. It's, it's little troll Johnny and his crabs. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I, I'm glad that he's here. 
what should I name him? Shelly? That's a very feminine name, Shelly. I like it. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what was in my drawers. That's all the news that I have for you guys tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to swallow your spit. I seem to forget to do that. <laughs> be sure to leave some comments down below. Subscribe. Hit that little bell to get your notifications or whatever. Or don't. I don't really care what you do, okay? I would appreciate it if you did it, but I'm done asking for you guys to do things for me. Uh, but yeah, well, that's all the news I got, and I'm going to have more the next time you see me. So just stay tuned for later this week when we break some more news and we talk about all your favorite or least favorite celebrities. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all. Good night, everybody. Good night. You know, I got rid of the crabs the last time, but I think I'm going to leave this one here. He seems, he seems happy here. You know? And if any hater gets too close, he's just gonna snip him. Yeah. Snip him. I'll throw him right in the crotch region. It'll hurt. Yeah.